when you're ready, you can go with the first question, but looking though. Yeah. Where is home? Yeah. And I'm uh, meant to carry on. Yeah. I'm ready. I think for me, home is, the first thing that comes to my head is home is where the heart is. Um, but it's where memories are. Um, it's, it's where the, oh, sorry. It's okay. I didn't know that this was gonna happen. Um. Home is a feeling. Home is my hair. Without my hair, I don't feel like I'm home. I have my hair. I feel like I'm at home. Home is a way of me expressing my identity. It's a way of feeling like I'm back home, which is Nigeria. Home feels like I'm connected more to my African heritage. Home feels like me. Home feels like everything I've wanted to be and home is a way of me expressing myself. I'm at home. Home, a place where we all are being accepted with all our flaws and including disabilities. Uh, Home is where we emotionally and physically uh, related to. Uh, so these are the main uh, aspects which we can relate to the home. Somewhere we feel connected, so that's home. Um, I guess I've grown up in both Africa and here as well. So I guess home for me is very much blended. Home is Malawi, home is also here. So I like to call myself uh, an African Essex girl. Um, so when I think of home, I think of the people rather than the physicality itself. So when I'm in England, home is England. When I go back home, home is Malawi. But when I go to Malawi and I'm leaving, I get, oh, I can't wait to go home. But when I'm going to Malawi, it's like, oh, I can't wait to go home as well. So home for me is a bit complicated. Home is both and neither at the same time. The home for me is my family, um, my husband, my daughter and my son. It's like uh, my home. Home means to me uh, a feeling, so feeling secure um, within a space as well as company as well, feeling secure and warm and uh, comfortable. To me, safety, um, security, um, warmth, love. So somewhere where I I want to go back to every day. Um, it's it's smells, it, it's sounds of birds, it's the, the smell of the, the trees, um, the earth, it's where my family is. Um, sometimes it's, it's where the people are that you love apart from family, the other people who have helped you feel like you're home when you're away from your home. That would be my answer. And do you think it's important for people to know where their home is, or is it best to have it? For me, being connected to my African heritage is very important. Um, although I was born in the UK, I feel like I've never really got to experience living in Nigeria, and I've always felt somehow lost. Um, so I feel being able to express the feeling as if I was there makes me feel like I'm at home. 
watching Nigerian movies per se, having my hair done in braids, eating my African food that my mum brought me up to eat, and listening to African music makes me feel at home. So at home, or being at home, is a feeling. Um, I truly do feel like I'm at home when I'm in a surrounding of things. Definitely, it's important to know uh, because uh, if you do not feel that you are at home, then you might not have uh, any interest for the future, for the strategies which you want to implement in the future. So it's important to feel that somewhere is home for you and you can do your things and plan for your future and for, for future of the people which you care about. Absolutely. Um, a tree is nothing without its roots. Um, so I do think it's very, very important for people to feel like they've got home or a sense of belonging or some form of community because a tree without roots would just blow away. Um, home and that community give you a state of being. Um, it gives you a history of who you are. It makes up who you are in, in completeness. So I do think it's really, really important for people to have a home. But I also understand that home isn't always available for everyone. Um, home means very different people, especially what's going on around the world. Um, the idea of home is, is complicated and it's, it's uh, yeah, it, it, I think, I do think it's very important for people to um, feel at home or have the sense of home. Because the home is um, getting you um, relaxed and um, you can, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, and you have complete, complete the family is like uh, you have somebody to help you so for, for something and you can, you can uh, self uh, sad and you, you every day is happy because your family is, your home is with, with you. So I think this is that. I think it's a very important um, for everyone to feel a sense of home, so a sense of belonging or a sense of knowing that you, know, you can kind of be within a space and you'll be happy and you'll feel happy with inside yourself and yeah, I think it's important that everyone has an identi identity of being um, somewhere if they want to call it home and put a label to it. I think that depends on your soul. I think for me it's important to know where my home is because it gives me grounding and connection, security. Um, but some people don't necessarily feel like they need that. Um, everyone should know where they belong, what, what is their home. Um, not to say that that can't change and it can be somewhere else, with someone else. Yeah, so in, in a lot of ways, I suppose it is uh, free flowing because we don't always, our home from a child is not always our home when we get older. And how do you know you're at home? The enriched smell of different flavours. Our local dishes, obono soup, amala, okra or fang soup these smells make me feel like i'm at home the feeling of going to nigeria getting my braids done with four hairstylists on my head these make me feel like i'm at home now when i shifted to the uk i feel uh there is a home for me here i can uh make my strategies, my plans. Uh, no one is uh, 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 
bounding me to do what to do, what to not do. So uh, uh, I can focus on things, on my dreams and goals, uh, which I have predetermined. Uh, now there is a place here uh, which I can focus on those things. Um, I don't, it's Stockholm Syndrome maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I moved to England when I was really young, so I guess for me home is the cultures, it's the, it's the people, it's the rituals and the habits that I have. And so yeah, I guess it is very, very complicated for me in the sense that I can't pinpoint that I feel at home because of this specific feeling. Home is the people to me, home is the connection, home is just the, the feeling that you get when you feel comfortable and you feel that, that, that excitement. That's what home is to me. Um, love. The, the, the love that I'm um, relaxed. Nothing else. It's like a love. Uh, I think for, for me, the main point is um, I get to be my true self where I don't have to put a particular face on or a particular way of being. I can just be my normal, authentic self, um, be comfortable to know that I can express myself and there's no pressure or judgment. Lots of sounds, um, like I said, there's specific birds that you don't get in England. Um, the sound of the magpie, it sounds very different. It has a song and a warble, it's called, where magpies here don't do that. Um, and it's the smell of the gum trees and, like I said, the earth and the soil. So when it's a very hot day, the smell of the oils from the gum trees is something that you can't really explain unless you experience. I know I'm home because when I get there, I'm happy. It's somewhere I, I feel happy, I feel loved, I feel safe, and I can just be me. I don't have to be anyone else. I don't have to be a work me or a friend me or a mum me. I'm just be who I am. And is there a memory or a story or a journey that comes to your mind when I say home that... I remember it like it was yesterday, my solo trip to Nigeria. I felt like I was embarking on a journey in which only I could understand. I felt like I was at home, but yet I'd never been home in Nigeria. So I took my bags, went to Nigeria last year, April, and it was the most life-changing experience. I got to see things with my own natural eyes rather than experiencing them through pictures and through videos. I got to eat the local dishes in the mainland. I got to go to the city and experience it, the high life. Everything was so amazing. I got to listen to the high life music, truly Afrobeat, being in Nigeria. I got to get my hair done. I got to eat all the local dishes and connect with my roots, which I felt like I'd lost. Uh, I, I, I just want to tell you a story about myself and back to Afghanistan. Uh, when the Taliban took over, uh, uh, no one is being valued there. Uh, when I wanted to go out, they were all asking about why are you listening to the music? Why you do not have beard? And I did not have uh, the control of uh, my style, my body, and what I do. So at that time, I feel that uh, this place is not a home for me, uh, and I cannot be here anymore. Uh, since I uh, arrived, uh, arrived here, here I made a schedule for, for myself and uh, I am just reaching each instances, each points day by day and I am close to my goals. So no one is saying, why are you doing this? So I think uh, uh, there are many opportunities for me to uh, get to those goals. So I feel 
uh, this place is good to uh, make plans to uh, reach my goals uh, but no one is uh, just uh, I, I actually uh, as I see around most people are they have positive minds so it encourage encourages me to uh, uh, feel safe feel motivated and feel compassionate about my goals so this is i guess we call it chitenge in um in chichewa um i got it from my auntie when i went to visit in august um and this takes me back to being home because when i think of malawi and i think of home i think about all the colors and all the women in my life and yeah this just kind of invokes that feeling and just it, it brings me back a connection to like the people that i love the most so yeah this is this is hope for me as well sorry oh gosh um i don't know i think it's things like um it's just memories like driving down the driveway um the bumps on the driveway because it's a long dirt driveway um in the summer the dirt would flick up um so it can be quite dusty in the winter it's very very muddy and you can slip and slide down the driveway and something as simple as that um is a memory that I always cherish when I do go back home and just driving down that driveway, entering onto it and driving down that is something that makes me feel like I'm coming home. My daughters laugh and um, for me it fills me with joy and warmth and it's uh, lovely to be able to observe her being her true um, authentic self and um, where she's able to express her feelings and emotions and thoughts and creativity um, with a free-spirited uh, approach. And I get to witness that and see it from afar through her father's eyes. So, um, Home for me now is a different place to where it was this time last year. Um, circumstances changed and I ended up in a different part of Essex with living with a friend that I've known for a long time. Um, we didn't know if it was going to work. Luckily, a year on, it is working. And my life changed a lot in that year. Uh, I am now living with a friend who I didn't never imagined it would happen. And we have just sort of settled into a routine um, and we're fostering cats so um, yeah life has just changed a lot homes changed a lot a home for me as well has always been the hub, the community space that is, um, because it created a space for people to meet and talk and um, have a home away from home while they're missing home. They know that they can go somewhere and they can have conversations like this, that they can remind themselves of home and they can share their experiences. So I think, yeah, home is very, very complicated and I think home is very, it's simplified. Home is the people um, and it's also the, the memories you attach to it. Um, but yeah, home has always been, the ideas have to me as well.